we're going to be taking a look at Toy World's newest throttle bot. And this is a figure I absolutely love. This is uh, Chase T. Was it TW T? TW for Toy World, T for Throttlebot, O3, uh, Trace, who is an homage to Chase. Um, just like the other two uh, Throttlebots we've gotten so far, uh, Grind Rod and Aurora, um, he is modeled after a, con a, a real car. However, this time, this is a actual concept car. It's uh, some weird Lamborghini SUV uh, concept that probably will never come out. Uh, I don't know the name of it. It's something weird, and I don't really care. But uh, it does look very cool. Uh, it does roll. Excellent. Very cool. Uh, we've also seen pictures. This guy is going to be an arm for the combiner. So they didn't give up on that, which is cool. So I guess everybody was right, and the other two are feet. And this guy, they've shown pictures of this guy as an arm. Uh, basically this way, with these two ports. Like plugging in, and then fold this folding down. You can see this a peg in a hole on each side here, so that's gonna accordion down and snap together and then a fist get put between it. Uh, what's weird is they were showing it with an MMC fist, which is kind of weird, but whatever, it's cool. Um, it does come with this gun, and the gun does attach, however this gun attaches very stupidly, and I don't like the way it attaches. Um, there's a groove right there in the bumper, and you basically take this wet, this divot right there, and you just kind of wedge it in there. It's very hard to do it the first time. It does. It looks like it wants to come around the bumper and snap like up on the bumper, but it doesn't. And it also sits at an angle pointing down towards the floor. It's kind of stupid. Um, it does still roll just fine, and you can actually rotate it around and point it the opposite way. Maybe like that. Oh, yeah, there we go. Like that. And again, it does point towards the floor, but it still doesn't... Nope, it doesn't touch the floor. Just double check and make sure it doesn't touch the floor. And it still rolls just fine. So you, that is another option. Slightly cleaner. But, uh, yeah, it's not crazy about how the gun attaches in, uh, in vehicle mode. So, yeah, uh, like I said, he's a weird Lamborghini concept car, uh, SUV. Uh, this guy's transformation is very complicated. It is probably one of the hardest transformations of any recent toy. And I like to roll things. Yeah, he does roll very nicely, but uh, nice clean back, tailpipes, nice front end. Very cool, very cool looking. Again, does not come with an Autobot logo. That is a repro label sticker. All right, so <laughs> down to transformation. Um, it's gonna get very finicky. Uh, the, the only thing you're gonna need to worry about as far as things breaking is gonna be the joint right here. But I really haven't had any problems with that feeling like it's gonna break. And the other thing is these um, side mirrors can break. So again, those are just a couple things you wanna be careful of. As long as, you're be, as long as you're careful of them and you don't go tugging at them, they won't break. So what I like to do is just start wiggling, kinda of separating it out back here at the bumper at these two gaps right there and then just kind of wiggling this until something pops up there we go see do the same thing on the other side like so and then you're just going to pull the these are going to be the legs take this bumper bit the rear end part and just fold it up for now and then I like to disconnect it here there's two uh, tabs to hold it up, just to get that out of the way for now. You're going to rotate it 180 at the waist. It's going to become the waist. Um, what's weird is these silver bits look like they should be the front of the thighs. And you totally could do that, but then his knees would hinge that way. And that's not right. So what you want to do is rotate them out, so that the silver part's on the outside. And then you get this kind of panel line that kind of continues from his hip all the way down to his thigh. Actually, yeah. And then that's going to be the front like that. So then what you're going to do is fold this out and then come under here. And there's the instructions aren't clear on this. The way I like to do it is just take this back one for a bit and bend it 90 degrees like that. And then just kind of tuck it back there behind the wheel, like that. And that be that creates the heel, and then you just bend forward the 
the toe to create the foot. Um, I think the instructions tell you to do something a little bit different, but because this is this whole piece is on a bowl joint, so you could kind of finagle it any way you really wanted to. I particularly just like doing it like that. It doesn't really. Oop, I forgot to fold. That. So he does still have like this kind of bend, but he has his normal knee bend. So that's a good thing. Um, that's <clears throat> my only one problem is the knees and the thighs are a little bit loose. But okay, the upper body. This is gonna be this is gonna be a little crazy. So what we're gonna do is come under the wheel. And come under the the headlights and just kind of unpeg them. And just kind of loosen everything up. I know it's kind of going into focus, but this is hard to do not on camera. So doing it on camera is even more of a pain in the butt. Just I don't want to. There we go. Get everything kind of loosey goosey. Kind of like bend this that way. Pull the uh, pull these bits under. They're on hinge joints. I thought they were ball joints, but they're actually just hinges. Come pull this down. And what you want to be just be aware of is there's a hinge in here. And that's going to bend all the way up here to create the shoulders. So just uh and then there's just a ball joint on the end of it. So just be aware of it. You don't have to worry about doing anything with transformation with it yet. Uh, come around, rotate the hood all the way around. You just leave it up for now. I'm gonna finagle it and position it in a little bit. Um, can we do that now? Okay, well, for now we'll take the hood and just rotate the hood around 180, like so. And just be careful, because that's, that's a thin joint. And then what you wanna do is take these bits and kind of shove them in there. And there is a groove that you want them to line up with. It's very hard to show, so I don't know if I'll be able to show it, but you can definitely feel it, and you can definitely see it when you have it in hand. But it'll kind of just... It's very hard to, to describe. Let me see if I can get the, uh, the camera in there and let you see it. But... Yeah, I don't think it's going to really work. But there is... Right here. See that groove next to that hole? That's going to line up with that groove. And then you're just going to fold it back and line it up with that groove. And just make sure the hinge in the back is up against the body and all the way down. It's very hard to describe, but that's the way you want them to be. Come around here to the front. Now we're going to rotate the hood around so that it's facing that way. And then we're also going to lift up on these hinges that I said before. So don't just lift up on the arms, but lift up on these hinges on the inside. All the way up. Okay, man. I guess doesn't want to cooperate right now. We'll just come over to the front, unpeg these side bits, and fold up the front bumper. And these are on double hinges, so we're going to lift them up. Not all the way up, just about halfway up, because what you're going to do is right here in his crotch piece, there's that V shape in the upper part of his uh, that belt piece, and that's just going to kind of Right where that is, there's a that notch right there is, that's going to you know, all guide together. Now, hopefully, this will cooperate. Here we go. So what I like to do, just so I'm not putting unnecessary stress on anything, is just put my thumb underneath. Kind of pull it, first pull it out a little bit just to get my thumb under it. There we go. And then see it right there. Let's zoom in. Right there. You're gonna take your thumb. I like to 
push up on it with my thumb. And then you just want to do it all the way until those bits, see how they're flush with the, so let me bend it down a little bit. And you see right there, and then you just fold it up until it's flush. And hopefully you can see that. Okay. So now you can take these side bits, and right now the hood is still floppy. You can take these side bits, and there is a groove right there that this will just peg into. It doesn't hold super securely. It's not like a real locking tab, but that what that does is that holds the chest in, so now the chest isn't floppy. And I just hold it all together. Pull the arms over out that way. We can fold. Make sure the hood, see the hood has this accordion hinge. Make sure it's accordion down so that the backpack sits low against the back of his head. And it does rotate so you can always position it how you want. And now for the final bit, the arms, um, what you want to do is grab, oh, see it's already getting crazy. Grab here. Don't grab like this. If you grab like this, or like this, you gotta break that off, the side mirror. So grab it here, like this, and then I like to grab it like this, and pull it straight out. Easy peasy. Fold out the fist. It folds up on, from underneath. And now, you see this pin, on, there's a hinge on this, on the, uh, the window on the other part of the door. I like to just push with my thumb it doesn't get it all the way, but it gets it most of the way, and I kind of just wiggle it and put a little pressure until it stops. And now there is a tab right there, or a hole, whatever, and then there's a tab. There's a tab here and a hole here, and it's more, it's not, it doesn't like lock in, lock in, but you see how it pegs in right there, and that'll just, that lines it up. It doesn't really like hold it super securely, you can still fold it all you want, it just keeps it as a guide. So again, pull it straight out, grab it by the door, so I just grab it, pinch it like this around the forearm, and then pull it out until it stops, fold out the fist, really, push on the pin, pull it all the way out, rotate it around the Right way? Which way is the right way? This way. And there we have Trace in his robot mode. Maybe Infiniki. Okay. So. Stay. Articulation. He has a ball jointed head. So get some good. Pretty good motion there. Very nice light piping. Uh, the backpack isn't too bad. So let's get a close up. So it does, the light piping does work very well. Um, you can also see, I wish they would have colored it in with black paint, but he has a mustache. He's got a little Hulk Hogan mustache, which is very cool. Um, shoulders have this hinge movement up here, um, and then a ball joint on the actual arm part by the wheel. So you got a hinge up and down, and then a ball joint cut at the upper bicep, very tight actually. Uh, 90, yeah, 90 degree bend at the elbow. Nothing reversed, um, nothing at the wrist except for the downward motion of the transformation. Rotates at the waist, ball joint. Nope, hinge joint. Just a uh, a pinned hinge joint at the hip. It's kind of a universal joint, but not really. But forward and back, in and out. Bends at the upper thigh. Uh, yeah, 90 degree bend at the knee. Um, it has this going for it, if you want them to do that. Whatever. Uh, this motion, mostly for the transformation. 
a ball jointed foot and a ball jointed heel. And he does have ankle tilt, so that makes him obviously a good toy. So, give him his gun in one second. Now the gun, one problem with this toy, and that is these knee joints are very weak and they can flop back very easily. When you get them in a pose, you know, I've had them sitting on my desk for two or three weeks. I haven't had a problem, but when you're actually posing him, it can be an issue, like you're seeing now. So here's his gun. Nothing extraordinary, just a regular pistol. The peg, either the peg on the gun or the hole in his fist is not quite the right size. So the first time you stick it in, as you can see right there, there is a minor stress mark on this fist. It is very thick plastic. It is very sturdy plastic. I'm not worried about it snapping, but there's a minor stress mark. If I'm really worried by it, I can get a hair dryer and just uh, melt it and smooth it out. But as of now, it's not that big a deal. So yeah, there he is. Um, I haven't messed around with trying to get the arm mode to work, because I don't really care right now. I mean, I, like I said, I do love combiners, but honestly, until I see it all combined up, you know, I'm really not going to mess with it, because it's not like the Throttlebots were com a combiner team, where I'll be like, yes, I want, I like them, and I want to see what he looks like as his limb. You know, it's just basically a, a fan mode at this point, so I'm not really jonesing to mess with him as a limb right now. Just like Grind Run and Aurora, I'm not turning them into legs and displaying them as legs. Don't worry about it when the time comes. I'll probably gestalt him up once and never do it again because I just love these guys as is. But uh, just knowing that they can be combiners, that they are a combining team, is cool. So yeah. Like I said, the only real weakness is the knees are a little floppy and the heels kind of are wonky to pose. I mean, once you get him posed, he's you know perfectly fine. He looks great. And he's just a great addition to, uh, to, the to the Throttle World, Throttle World, Toy World Throttle Bots. So yeah, I say, along with Grind Run and Aurora, you should totally pick this guy up. And again, I can't wait until the next one. But I only know when we'll find, when we'll see it, but can't wait for him. So yeah, this has been the video review for Toy World TWTO3 uh, Trace, aka Chase.